tutorial uh, for using GitLab. I'm going to sign in and set up a repo and upload a file. So I'm going to go first to gitlab.com. I'm going to click on sign in. I happen to already have an account, so I'll sign in to that account. Um, so here I have a couple options since I have nothing set up yet so far. If I look under uh, more, there's a couple options. What I really want to do is create a new project. So I could either click on new project up here or I'll just click on create a project. So my project is going to be called 601 Spring 2020 um, and that's going to be set up at this location and then this uh, extension here. So data 601 Spring 2020 is my project description. I'm going to make it public and I'm going to initialize the repository with a readme. So that's create a project. Um, so the name has already been taken, so I'm going to have to try something else. Let's try Spring 2020 UMBC. That's a more specific name, so it's less likely to be taken. Also public and we'll initialize with a readme. Alright, so I get a warning up here about SSH. I won't be using that right now, so I can ignore that for now. Uh, and I've got a project here and there's a whole bunch of things going on, but basically the important thing is I've got a readme file and then I display the contents of the readme there. So I'm going to uh, also sort of check out these the options over here on the side. None of this is really relevant yet. All right, so we'll close this message. And I don't need an auto devox. All right, so now I can, in this directory, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna upload a file rather. to my UMBC directory, it's been 2020, we can, and then we'll look at the Lino workflow activity. Now I've got this notebook that's uploaded uh, to GitLab. And the path for that notebook is this URL here. 